Ugh, this place really gives me the creeps. It doesn't seem more than an ordinary house to me, though. Damn, I should've brought my camera with me. I saw a few areas that'd be good for a shoot. You think the new owners will allow it? Shh! What if you catch something? Or someone in one of the pictures? <laughs> it just means they want to be seen, doesn't it? D don't ask for it! It's not like we can stop them if they do. You're really not helping, Zack. All right, all right, sorry. Don't worry. I don't think whatever's inside this house will do anything. I'm here, yeah? I'll take care of them. Or I think I can. You're not that scary, but thanks. I'll be sure to run behind you if I see one. Is something the matter? No, I, I... I'm sorry, Father. I think I left the key... Careful, Bella! We have spoken with the current owners. Well... Technically, you're not yet the owners, but... Ow, 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 my back! What the... Isabella? Ma'am Hannah! Mr. Wright! Oh, Isabel! We always meet in the most... interesting circumstances. A complete understatement, darling. What are they doing in my house? I thought you said you wanted to do paperwork duty. What are you doing here? I, uh, the reason why I'm here? Well, spit it out, Lily. We don't have all day. I'm just here to make sure everything is fine before you move in.
Oh? The house appears impeccably fine to me. <laughs> Come on, little Lily. Lying doesn't do that cute little face any justice. I'm a very patient man. Now, why are you really here? The truth... the truth is I was just thinking we could have the house blessed b before move-in day. And why would we ever need to have this house blessed? F for luck and protection? That's rich coming from you. When we saw Devlin Court, you didn't. It's a small custom back home. I thought it would be nice to do something that would bring positive energy to the mansion since this place has been empty for years. And the papers, Isabella? I hope you did those first before this. Of course I did. It's almost done, in fact. But there are some items I still have to double check before finalizing everything. You know I don't sign without a thorough inspection. And well, this is what this is for, too. I just thought it would be more efficient to do both at the same time. Here, I thought you didn't want to go back. A job is a job, Rose. Gotta do what you gotta do to make a living. Oh, well, if that's the case, then go ahead. No need to be so hard on her, Rosie. I personally think it's a nice touch. I was actually thinking of the same thing, but you beat me to it. Darling, Buttercup, please. You know these things don't work. No offense meant to the holy man, of course. That does not explain the nigger, though. Lucille Mitchell Wright. What? Oh! 
Oh, give it a rest, love. Do you have a better idea? Who knows? Positive energy might even give us what we've been waiting for. Or some peace. Let them do their job. What have we been waiting for? I don't think I was ever informed of. Nothing you should worry about right now. Anyway, we've still got a few things we need to discuss with Rosie here. Over lunch? I hope you don't mind, Isabel. We'd love to take you with us, but... Oh, no, 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 no. Go ahead, ma'am. This'll take time. That's why there's two of us working on this. Oh, wonderful. I hope the next time the three of us meet, it'll be over a closed deal, hmm? Of course, ma'am. Please look forward to it. Isabella, a word before I go? Zachary hasn't been really forthcoming with your situation, and it is something I understand it wasn't his to share. But whatever burdens you, know that it's not a permanent fixture in your life. Besides, you have people to bear it with. Say, do you want to go somewhere? Right now? Where to? Anywhere in the city. I'll leave it up to you. It wouldn't hurt. I've got some stuff I need to buy. Groceries. And there's a shop I want to check. Is it real food this time? Let me guess. Rebecca... She's just worried about you. Even I can't eat that much instant noodles. Think of it as a talent. Let's just go, Zach.
<laughs> Sorry, the line was really long. Really long. Uh, you didn't have to run. Sit down first. Nah, uh, I'm, I'm good. Didn't want to make you wait for these. What for? An apology. And his thanks. For yesterday and the other day. You don't have to buy me anything, Zack. You were upset. You haven't been yourself recently, and people kind of miss that, you know? Are you just saying that, or...? No, really. Rebecca told me. You know how she is. Ashton, too. Ashton was an ass. He should have been named Ashhole instead. He went a little overboard, yeah. Now I can talk to him if you want. He'll still tease me about it, even if it's Rebecca telling him to stop. Besides, I can handle him. You always do. And yesterday, when you talked me through my little slump, I thought, hey, I want our old Isabella back. Are you... Are you still upset? Thanks a lot for today, Zack. You didn't have to, but you did. I can always count on you. Just me? No Ashton or Rebecca? Oh boy, they won't be happy to hear that. I don't mind being the favorite, though. Nope, no favorites. But you cook better than both of them, so that's a plus. <laughs> it's always been fool with you, ain't it? Don't put it like that. You're making me sound like a glutton. I'm not saying you are, but it does feel good to know there's someone I can invite for food to be able to eat all of it. Only that? I thought we were also art buddies. Oh, that too. Uh, but the food thing really stands out when you think about it. You do eat a lot for someone your, uh, size. Low blow. I take pride in my height. So, uh, is it okay now? Do you feel better? Does... does it still scare you? A little. I'll be okay. I'll... I'll figure it out, somehow. It's not as bad as the other day, and Father Norman helped too. I should have brought something to thank him. Oh, we could visit him anytime. He loves hearing from the young ones. He isn't that old, is he? <laughs> Don't know. He doesn't tell. I think I might have seen his face somewhere before, and I just couldn't recall when or where. Ash says he looks like his boss, so the bartender at the local pub if he squints. Don't take his word for it, of course. He might have accidentally inhaled something from the forensic lab again when he said that. <laughs> <laughs>
If you need anything, just ring, okay? Like when Ash annoys you too much. I'll help you with him, best friend or not. No way. I can take him on. Still an extra muscle wouldn't hurt, yeah? Just let me know, and I'll back you up. My sister knows this one thing to shut him up when he's being his usual self. Ask me what it is whenever you want, and I'll spill it. I don't think that's necessary, but thanks. I'll keep that in mind. Don't look at me like that. I can act graceful as well if I want to. Where's your owner, anyway? Well, if you don't have one, I won't be able to take you in. My apartment doesn't allow pets. I tried to bring one home before, a cat. Not black, of course. Uh, and Rebecca threw a fit before the landlady could. <coughs> D do you want one? I'm sorry. Did my cat hurt you? Miss Santos, was it? 
I'm surprised to see you here. Nice to meet you again, Miss Makala. Were you harmed in any way? I'm sorry. Brutheel's not exactly fond of other people. Even run away from the veterinarian right now. Oh no! He was just sniffing my hand earlier. My Brutheel's a she. I'm actually surprised you have a cat, Miss McCalla. And why exactly is that? There are a lot of people who have pets. Yeah, but not a black one. I'm amazed you're taking care of one. I don't understand what you're trying to get at. Is there a problem with my cat? No, not at all. She's very sweet. Just in other cultures, aren't they a sign of bad luck? Nothing has happened to me so far. This is a good place to stop and end this conversation, don't you think so? It is... good to see you again, Santos. By the way, about... The Irmingard Mansion. With my clients. It's the rights, I mean. I hope you don't mind me asking, but has the deal been finalized? There's still a few papers they need, but the house is more or less theirs now. Ah, uh, thank you. That's all I needed to know. Wait. I... about the mansion. The, uh... Too. Have a good day, Miss McCullough. Thank you. 
In other local news, a woman was found dead in her home yesterday evening. Luxbourne police officials are currently investigating the crime scene, but has classified the case as homicide. The victim, identified as Rose Pamela Cooper, 33 years old, working as a real estate agent. Discovered lying in a pool of blood in her two-bedroom flat with the words help me repeatedly written on the walls. She'll answer. Please answer, Rose. Come on, Rose. Don't do this to me. Please pick up. I know. I know you're there, Rose. You're not dead. Please tell me you're not. This adds to the series of deaths, disappearances that has plagued Luxborn in the recent years. The authorities are currently looking at a possible link with the notorious Anselm Butcher case.
house of a man in one part of London has triggered a wave of violence in the neighborhood in the north and south of the capital. In Sutton, the disturbances began in the early evening. Every Thursday, we have more offices on the streets of London tonight, and here they will be in force. So, all around this area, the cordons are now going up. For the second night running, we've got cross-pads and surveillance. This is what the police fear, what they're calling it. I'm sure you've all heard of what happened to Miss Cooper. She was a valued member of our team and she will be missed. There's no date for a funeral, yet, but those who wish to attend, kindly speak with your respective supervisors. By the way, has anyone heard about our still AWOL staff? None? HR, you know what to do. Santos, a word? In my office? Luxbon Police Department continues its search for the following reported missing people.
Rose is... I need to... No. If it's like this, they still won't believe me. I have to make sure of it first. Hello? Uh, anyone there?
Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. On a right! Officer Lee! What a pleasant surprise! I didn't think you'd have the time to attend tonight's party. Oh, I always have time for my favorite social art couple. Might I say, you look positively ravishing tonight. I see the husband isn't with you. I... I suppose you are looking pleasant as well. Luke's busy with work, unfortunately. 
Michelle isn't here. Hmm, a shame. I do hope he isn't causing you much trouble. That husband of yours can be a bit tough sometimes, acting like he's still some young bachelor. The wife sends her regards and her apologies, but something came up with a doctor and she needed to attend to it. You know her being pregnant and all. So, we're in civvies, I steal and drive off with one of the police mobiles, right? In the mirror, I see the new tent chasing on foot and screaming about theft. The look on his face was priceless when I parked it in the garage. Oh my, you made him chase you all the way home for a prank. What did Rochelle have to say about that? The wife pulled my ear and gave me a good talking to, though. Besides, we live in a flat a block away, so it wasn't much of a grand chase. Weren't you living in a house near the countryside? Move for work, you know. Or you probably don't. No, I don't. But a flat in downtown. I suppose if that's what you like. Oh, it's horrid. Hate that tiny place, no matter how convenient it can be for work. Fifty-five square yards are not enough when you need to get away from the wife. I wouldn't mind a place away from the city. Even started looking at the ads. I spied an interesting lot, actually. Heard it was finally put up for sale. Or that something mansion, you know the one, the one with all the ghost stories. The Ermagood Mansion? Ah, uh, that's the one. How worthy of a king it is. I'd buy it myself, but Rochelle would only gripe if I brought it up to her. Not to mention all the expenses a place like that. It'll be a real fixer-upper. You also have to find someone willing to work there with how superstitious people can be. If it becomes a problem, just hire someone to do an exorcism. Actually, I do know of someone who could be up to the task. You remember the Ludgates party at their Christchurch summer residence? Of course. It was an excellent soiree. Everything was so classy, too. Such good taste. Oh, that place was a pigsty until they hired out this interior designer and they turned it into a bloody palace. She worked for the Exodus for their apartment in Soho, too, and they recommended her when we were looking up pieces for our beach house in Porto Colom. I think I have a business card, right? It... No, I must have left it in my other jacket. Anyway, she's called, uh, what's her name? Uh, Mikola, uh, Marianne, I believe, yes. But truly, if anyone were to get that place in Mikola, well, they'd be the envy and the talk of the town. Well... If you put it that way, I might just snatch it up for myself.
This place was starting to feel a bit small lately anyway. Going. I am to attend the Triad Autumn Tasting. I do believe I informed you of this two weeks ago. Yes, and might I remind you that I had stricken that off your schedule? Because one, the doctor told you to stop consuming so much alcohol. And two, I informed you a few days ago about the open house we are going to attend in its place. I've even found this marvelous interior designer. Mary Ann McCullough. It's a three and a half hour drive to Cardiff. I don't have time for this. This is like that little party you threw all over again. You don't inform me of it, and you expect me to stay and be a gracious host when I have business elsewhere. <sighs> you know how I operate, Hana. Unless this was penciled in, I am sticking to my schedule. If I may intrude, the madam is correct. Your physician did insist you moderate your drinking. Unless you wish to incur acute pancreatitis. And you did have this open house penciled in last Wednesday morning. Bullocks, I don't remember doing so. Well, you did. While very hungover, in fact. Are you on? Come on, Luke. You promised we'd do whatever I want this weekend. Gordon Bennett, fine. I am giving this house tour yours a chance. But if it proves to be a waste of time, I am going to Cardiff and you are going to take a cab home. Are we clear? believe I agreed to this. I was really looking forward to the triad tasting. There's always the triad Christmas tasting in Manchester next month, and that'll only be an hour and a half drive. Well, there goes my good mood. Are you happy now, Hana?
So, when do we leave? Where are we even going? We are scheduled to leave after lunch for the... Ermengarde Mansion? Das ist ja interessant. It's just Deutsch name. Is that infamous mansion? Yeah? I have seen it from afar. It's a huge property. Very beautiful if it wasn't left abandoned. Certainly a house befitting lords and ladies of the land. A house good enough for nobles, huh? It is well known then? I guess that doesn't make it a total waste of time. Our old sous chef mentioned going there for Halloween last year. We've not seen him since. Mm, not that I mind. He made terrible pumpkin soup. And I'm sure little Lily here would certainly appreciate it if you remove your pretty hands from her, darling. I, I think I need to step out for a while. I'll be back. I can't apologize enough about what just happened. Please forgive Isabella. She's been under a lot of pressure lately. She's young and all those rumors about this being haunted just got to her head. And it must be this terrible heat too. Not a drop of rain for days now. Oh, it's fine. The poor girl must feel so embarrassed about what she just did. But I say, let bygones be bygones. 
After all, she's only a child. She looked, what, 19? She's a bit older than that, but again, I apologize. And if there's any way I can make up for what just happened, just... I know what you can do. Be a darling flower and get us one of those bottles you plan to serve. Pop it open. We were planning on serving some champagne. I, I can get that. That would be lovely. Much obliged. Do you want a glass as well, Miss Wright? Oh no, I'm fine. I really shouldn't be drinking right now. Here's the deal. I'm willing to pay 10% higher than your listing price. If anyone tries to outbid us, just add another 5%. I doubt anyone can, of course. Or, you know what? Just add 15% to the listing price and we can sign all the paperwork now. I guess, if that's what you want. That won't be any trouble. I don't have all the papers now. Didn't think this would be a quick sell. I'll have copies sent to you so you can look over them. And if you'd still like to finish the rest of the tour with Isabella's group, you're more than welcome to. No, I think we're good here. We'd appreciate a private tour of the place a lot more, I think. All right. Should I let Marianne in, then? Please do. We have this project then? Of course. Will you be needing anything from us? Having the floor plans would be a great start, just so that I can look at them beforehand. And if you could tell me when you're available for a meeting so that I can include it in my calendar? Oh, is a meeting really all that necessary, Marianne? I guess we can send Johans to help you out. You two can start by getting rid of this ugly painting.
What painting? Odd. Well, no matter. Back to the topic at hand. Marianne, dear, we are simply far too busy to meet up. But, I guess we can free up a day to meet with you. I don't really need another maudlin Monday reading about Maury anyway. The book club can function without me for one day. What time shall we be seeing each other? How does lunch sound? That sounds good. Although, with a project at this scope, we might need most of the day to tackle your concerns. A more thorough inspection of the place is also preferable. Breakfast, then. It's a date. It's really not. All right. Monday. Ten o'clock sharp. We'll see you then. So, you really want to buy this place, then? That's a bit of a big impulse buy, even coming from you. <laughs> not that I'm complaining. Well, I'm glad you're not complaining like you usually do. It's a right and proper Christmas miracle, isn't it? Hannah has finally done something right. Hey, Buttercup, what's with this cheek? Rose? Lily? Mint? The nerve, Luke, the nerve! Is that what this is about? One, that woman's name was Rose. And two, you know I don't mean a word of that empty flirting. And it's still the principle of things, Luke. I understand if you try to woo them to get what you want when it seems that I'm not looking. But I told you once before not to do it when I'm there. Really? I forfeit my trip to Cardiff for this, and you're still not happy. Oh, trust me, Luke. I am very happy. Very happy that, for once, we are doing something that I want. Can you not see the smile on my face?
out. What the bloody hell, woman? This is my bedroom too! Don't even try to argue, because I am very cross with you, Luke Wright. You can take the second bedroom or the guest room, if you wish. But I do not want to see you at all for the rest of the night. Johans! No, you are not allowed to sleep in my room, sir. That's not what I mean! Help me talk some sense into her! There is no sense in questioning her right to be angry, sir. So, if I might be excused, I'll go prepare the second bedroom for you. Mutiny! This is mutiny! The system is being upturned, and the people are rioting, and everything is left asunder!
I know your pictures are framed by cheap plastic, but those are framed by African Blackwood and are one-of-a-kind commissioned paintings. Each one is easily worth a lifetime of what you not make. I'd really like to thank you for inviting me to breakfast, Mrs. Wright. But I already ate, so I should really go back to work. Nonsense! You arrived so early, you must not have gotten a proper meal. Our butler has made a surprisingly lovely bubble and squeak. Sit, sit! I'd situate us in the dining hall, but it is a mess right now. Oh, Johans! Are you liking the project? Drop that vase and I'll have your head! I know it's only an 8 million yen vase, but I swear, I'll... Well, it's certainly a fun challenge, incorporating the designs of a Jacobean manor and the functionality of a modern household. I have ideas I would like to suggest, by the way, about what to use the second bedroom for. I have been informed of your goddaughter and thought a kid-friendly room might be in order. You read my mind. I was actually going to bring that up. Oh, that would just be so lovely, Marianne. That way, Kylie can bring her friends over as well. And a good friend of mine, Brochelle, is expecting a baby. So, why don't we think about putting a crib in there, too? I can just imagine little ones running around, filling this place with the pitta patter of their feet. We'd have to make sure they don't trip and fall on the stairs, though. We won't be able to finish everything up until after the party, but we'll have it ready by then, so that all we need to do is to move in the furnishings. Yes, that's plenty fine. It's not like we're in a hurry to have it, and we wouldn't want the workers to disturb the guests or the other way around, do we? Just make sure it's presentable. You know, in case a guest snoops about. Of course. As for the kitchen you wanted, I've already negotiated for the high-end stoves and the hot and cold drawers, so on and so forth. I've got a friend who was able to customize them so that they'll look like the counters we'll be replacing and fit the rest of the interior. They'll be bringing them in today. Why can't you people do anything right? Don't drag it, you'll scratch the wood. Excellent. But no, really, how have you liked it so far? Oh, it has been wonderful, believe me. Everything is going smoothly too. It has been a long time since I've worked on something on this grand a scale. Nowadays, everyone is about condos and flats. Living in the city where every room is an identical box. Believe me, this is very refreshing. We lived in a condo before this, Marianne. Uh, I didn't mean any insult, I... It's fine, sweetie. Look at you, all frazzled. I was just pulling your leg. Luke wanted that penthouse when we got married, and you can thank him for purchasing this place as well. Don't be fooled. I'm just the treasury. I wouldn't be able to make a purchase this grand without his seal of approval. I see. That's it. That's all you have to say. Yes. It wouldn't be appropriate to comment further. It is unprofessional. Unprofessional?
The food is good. Best bubble and squeak. Of course it is. Our kitchen staff only uses the freshest hand-picked ingredients. Only the best for the rights. Mr. Wright is not joining us? No. He is far too busy bossing people around. He even refused to join me for breakfast earlier. Hence, this. I see. My apologies. I really don't know what sort of response you expect to get from me. You're a human with feelings and opinions, aren't you? Don't give me this bollocks about being professional when we're having a nice friendly chat over a nice and friendly breakfast. I can only talk about interior designs for so long and I detest one-sided conversations, Marianne. But I, I really don't know what to say, Mrs. Wright. We were talking of no topic in particular and... Luke. We were talking about Luke. About him not eating breakfast with you? About him treating me as if I were some treasury! Honestly, sometimes I feel like he doesn't love me anymore. Oh, have I been so blind? Did he ever love me at all? Was our marriage all for the sake of saving his company and his wealth? Because... Because? 